All right, we got slum dogs next up on the on the list. We got to change out that steering box to get my power steering going. It continues to weep from here. Even after all these months, it's still going. But we got a bolt here, and then we got two more on top. And then we got to come down here. So unbolt this, take this off. Hopefully it comes right off. It's, uh, it's obviously lubricated. <laughs> so it should be coming right off, hopefully. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So anyhow, so we'll get that going, pull it off, get it ordered. Hopefully I can find a number there. Hopefully get the exact same one and just bolt it back in. And But you know, it's not gonna go that, that easily. <laughs> Didn't procrastinate long enough, I guess. Have to break out the tools and start getting busy. Bang. Had to break out the torch, put some heat on there, got that separated. Loosen some bolts over here on the front fender. Lift it up so I can gain some access to the bolts here on the power steering unit or the Siganaw. Everything looks good so far. Uh, the rag joint didn't totally fall apart, so I could use that. I'm gonna order another one, but of course, you know, it's 50-50 if it'll fit, so we'll see. So, we got this out. One week later. All right guys, just switched out my steering box. Uh, 569-1676 is, um, is the part number. Here's the old one. So, this is a GM part, uh, BOP. It was in, I think, from 64 to 76 in the GM models. It has, uh, I think this is 13 16 and that one's a 5 8 stack back here. Hooks up to the link here. It bolts onto the frame here. It's bolted right back in. I was very happy with it. Uh, I even got a rag joint for it back there, two bolts. Of course, I did a video on, on this. This is a Chevy part here. Um, this is Buick. You have to have this Buick, and this has to be Buick. All the auto parts stores were selling me Chevy pieces here, and it wasn't lining up, and I was trying to make it work. But, you know, that's how we learn, trial and error. So this piece right here, you can get it at Speedway or eBay or anything like that. Um, it'll pop right in and line you right up. Um, there's the belt number 153.85. So that's perfect. I got it installed right now, ran it, pressurized it, and I have no leaks. Second one back there, I got a new rag joint. Oh, that's the other thing here the rag joint. I bought a couple of them until I finally got the right one. 
there's the uh, part number, 31015. I got that on Amazon for like 40 bucks. Came here the next day, and it's exactly the same thing as this. One week later. So we're gonna discuss the steering box today. Um, every day is a learning day, and uh, let me show you what I've learned this week on the old YouTube. So I'm uh, YouTube certified now, so let me tell you what I've learned this week. All right, so I got this new one in. Uh, it was relatively easy to find on the internet. Everybody had information about it. Um, I was able to plug it right into YouTube and see how they took this thing apart. Um, I didn't know anything about it. I thought this was closed and sealed, but apparently it's not. You can see that right there. There's a ring. And uh, that ring is how you get off the front. So if you see that little hole right there you're supposed to stick a, a, a pin or a, a punch down in there bend that locking ring up and then pull it out and then this whole piece comes out um, around it are seals and that's what's went wrong here just... so yeah I lost my seal and I started pouring out fluid and that's what uh, came out the front uh, I thought that a rock hit it or something and cracked it but that's not the case there's seals around here. I think there's three seals and they hold uh, the fluid inside here. Uh, these has seal around there too. You, you can take this off by taking these four bolts off and this whole shaft comes out in one piece. That comes out in one piece. And then back here, you can see these um, these holes there, that's where a spanner wrench goes in there and then you turn that nut with the spanner wrench um, and then pull that out and then you hit this with the, with the, a chisel or something like that and then this will turn to the, it's a locking nut and that pulls and then this whole section will come out too. So there's three sections, this one, there's that one and then there's that one. Seals here, seals here and seals there. So um, this is a GM part, um, really easy to find. I plugged in that number there and uh, lots of stuff came out. Um, I was happy, happy to see that. They, they explained all these marks here. Um, but I didn't get into that. I was just looking for the easy fix. I went to O'Reilly's and asked them about it. They really didn't know anything, but all they did is punch that in, and I got a replacement that I pushed, pushed right in there. It uh, went in really easy, and it didn't really have any issues. Same number right there. Bolted right back in. Plugged back in my power steering. Bought the new... Um, rag joint there uh i was trial and error because they kept they ordered me one and it didn't fit and then um i went on the internet and i found one on amazon and that one matched up to this this is probably still good i probably would have still ran it um it's kind of crunchy but it would have still worked but i was lucky enough to be able to get a new one Installed it there. You can see my um, my three quarter inch drive line right there. Steering wheel, I think it's a double D, and that's a Chevy or a GM part from Speedway. Let me get this hood. Well, yeah, I got that off of uh, Speedway. A three quarter inch double D, I think, <laughs> into my joint here onto a one inch, and it comes right up. I used uh, the old Willy sector shaft that was on here and uh, cut it down and made it fit right with bearing and a flange bearing down there, and then I installed a pillow block bearing here so it secures it really nice um yeah i cut in 
cut a hole in my engine mount and uh, went up to here. That's how I got it all set up. But yeah, pretty happy with that. That, that button right up on in. I had trouble getting this off. I had to heat it and then hit it down with a, uh, with a, with a big punch or chisel and that popped off. Thank goodness. All the bolts came off good. They got early CJ5 steering on there. And yeah, um, took it for a test drive already, no leaks. No noises, odd noises or anything like that. But anyhow, that's uh, that's my steering setup. I've seen other guys' steering setups. They have the smaller Signals. The early CJ5s are a little bit smaller. GM1s and Fords, they're big like this. Um, but, you know, they fit. It's basically the same, the same thing here. Yep. All right, guys. Hope I passed on some knowledge and maybe one of you guys out there was like me is looking for this kind of information. And, uh, and if you're out there, well, hey, thanks for watching.